are leaving, sir. B-38 joining up. Right on the nose. Fire flares. Pilot's a navigator. How's our timing? Navigator to pilot. Perfect circle, plus or minus 10 seconds. Slim, check out our new heading. 137 magnetic over. Roger. 137 magnetic. Okay, Dan. What's your SP? Command's going to talk to them now while we still have fighter cover. This is a flight engineer, all crew. Those of you that don't know where we're headed, assemble in the radio room. Skipper's coming back for a little briefing. Because we didn't have our usual briefing this morning, I'm sure you're all aware that this is something big. And you're right. This morning we're on a secret mission. That's the reason all pilots have been ordered to delay their briefings until now. Our target for the day is Wesselhaven. Take a look. I've circled it there on the chart. Today we're going to penetrate Germany 200 miles deeper than any Allied aircraft has ever tried before. Supposing we do fight our way clean down to Wesselhaven. The question is... How in time do we get back? Well, boys, that's the kicker. We're not coming back. We're not coming back, sir? No. If we try to return to England, the Luftwaffe would knock us out of the air. So instead, we're flying south out of Wesselhaven. South? Over the Alps, down into North Africa. And once we're there, we're going to reload, refuel, and hit a target in occupied France on our way home. Now, boys, they're calling this a shuttle raid. The purpose is to force the Nazis to spread their defenses so thin It'll make things a lot easier for us from here on in. Now, if this works, there's going to be a lot more. So we've got to make it work, right? Right, bad guys, sir. 12 o'clock high. A QM production. Starring Paul Burke. Also starring Chris Robinson. With guest stars Ina Ballard. George Voskovec and Gunnar Hellstrom. Tonight's episode, We're Not Coming Back. Better get upstairs. Yes, sir. Tarsburg. They will bomb Tarsburg. Return to hit Ludwigshafen or Mannheim from the rear to avoid our anti-aircraft there. Routine, Captain. The 918th has been holding secret briefing sessions for two days. Our anti-aircraft doesn't trouble them quite that much. This is something else. Wait. Wait a while. <laughs> Probably be waiting for us over Stuttgart. Oh. Fine. 
Our fighters have destroyed two bombers over Stuttgart. But our squadrons are all running out of fuel. What about the bomb damage? None, sir. The Americans have not yet trapped a single bomb. Falkenstein, what is happening? Sir, it's becoming clear they're headed for Regensburg or Wesselhafen. It's suicidal, inconceivable. Those cities are impregnable. Bombardier. PDI has sent it, Mike. It's your airplane. Roger, sir. I got it. bomb damage at Wesselshafen, sir. And now they will pay. The price will be too high. They will never try this again. What? What? What is it, Captain? Sir, I think they are turning the wrong way. South. South. Pursue them. All units. All units are low on fuel, sir, or too far north. Colonel, they must not escape. Sir, we have an armed training squadron here on the base. With your permission. Good. Order it up. I'll lead it myself. Squadron, Joe. That makes nine. Push North Africa were 500 miles closer. I'm asking, get up here. 
number three is out. Captain Lowell's been hit. Sparks, take the top turret. Stay in the back, sir. Kamansky, number four is running way too hot. That's about it for us, sir. We're not going to go very far on one wing. Pilot to crew. Well, boys, we've got our troubles. Number three is out, and number four is running hot. Now, I'm going to drop down and see if I can cool her off. And if we can restart number three, we may have a chance of catching up. We're not going to wash out on this one. Kamansky, fire the signal flares. I'm turning the mission over to Colonel Bailey. Yugoslavia, haven't we? Roger, sir. Well, we may have to try and land. I can't get number three to hold. Wine? Nein, danke. There was an airplane. I thought it was an American. I don't want to leave you, but I better go and report it. Hi, Liebchen. So it's no use. Number three's running, but there's none of the power. Pilot to crew. The boys, we don't have enough power to get back upstairs, but if we land, we may be able to fix it. Now, there's a field up ahead, and I'm going to try it. So get into your crash landing positions and hold on. I want some of you men to get Captain Lowell in that gully over there. The rest of you guys get out your knives and start hacking off some of those branches. We want to disguise the shape of Miss Lily here as much as we can. Sir, don't you think we ought to destroy the airplane? No, Sergeant, not yet. So far, we haven't been discovered. Maybe you can repair the damage. Colonel, this whole area is loaded with krauts. Nobody ever made a secret out of landing a B-17. What do we do for parts? I'm not a magician. Sergeant, according to reputation, I understand you're one of the finest shade tree mechanics in the Air Corps. Now, I know if there's any possible way of getting this crate out of here, you're going to find it. All right, man, let's get busy. Captain, sir. We stopped some of the bleeding, but we've got to get him out of here. How's the airplane? 
Number four's no sweat. Number three, the line to the oil pump shot, sir. No serious engine damage if the plugs are found. And, sir, I've got to rewire all the starter switches. Skipper. President Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Well, Roosevelt was a secret word. United States, Colonel. You speak English? Aren't you Polish, Kamansky? Who knows? With each patriot. Mr. Jimmy Psiacholme. A salute, Americani. Yanigine Bacho. Taki Varunne Starohi. You had it as I know you. Some of you men get on the stretcher. What was that you just said? I don't know. It's Ukrainian. The fellow used to live upstairs from us, kept saying it to his wife all the time. Let's hope they loved each other. Man, I swear I smell some greens are cooking. Hey, Skipper. I knew we were coming. Kamansky, put that back. Apologize to the lady. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, miss. Uh, really, I, I mean it. Uh, no offenses. Uh, uh, we're Americans. Roosevelt. Mother, what do Did you see that, Skipper? She likes you. He doesn't. Yeah, I knew a guy like that once back in Oakland. He almost killed me. Thanks for the encouragement. Get them all. I did Speak English. This man needs a doctor. A doctor, don't you understand? He's so young. You speak English. I am Mara. And you are Gallagher. That man out there eating, is he your leader? My father. Then how can we get him to help us? Miss. Miss, we are American soldiers. Now you will tell her she is a pretty woman. And you are a lonely soldier far from home. Hey! United States American Colonel! Yelich has finished eating. Now Yelich will talk. Kamansky, 
Go out and get all the money from our survival kits. Yes, sir. Sir, I don't know what your sympathies are, but I'm going to have to ask you for your help. I think I can fix my airplane, but I need wire, metal tubing, and clamps. And I need medical attention for Captain Lowell. Wire, clamps. We got none of that. Your captain, he gets better, he lives. He gets worse, he dies. That is our medicine here. Simple. But I'm not asking you for a favor. I'm going to pay you for your help. How much? All the money we have. American currency. Four and sixty dollars, sir. Here. Good. You'll save me the trouble of taking it away from you. Listen to me, Yelich. A deal goes with that money. Deal? Yes, a deal. Yelich makes no deal. You talk, Yelich listens. Now Yelich has the money. Simple. All right, Yelich, what is your price? Nazis, Yelich! German patrol! The airplane, Nicola, they're searching! Keep Kavansky here. Bring Gallagher for hostage. I don't. Hit it. You stay. No, I go. Your father speaks. You stay. Miss, stay with my friend. Please. Mara Yelich is my woman. Someday she marry with me. You stay away, understand? See my airplane. They're heading straight for it. It looked like an accident. Thank you, Yelich. For what? For killing? Them instead of me. I'm not a caveman, Gallagher. I got something to believe in. Fight for. I got a war to fight. Not your kind. My own. Where's your commandant? In the village, sir. 
What village? Where? Eight kilometers, sir. That's where he lives. He went to eat a supper. Is this not the station that reported sighting of an American bear Simpson? Yes, sir. Twenty kilometers southeast. I, sir, was the one who saw it. And you are not on patrol? But we did send out a search patrol that afternoon, sir, but... But you found nothing. So now you'll loaf about while your officer takes his ease and eats his supper. But we couldn't. Orders were sent down here for the patrols to search, and I want them to search. Send the runner down to the village. Order your commandant to report to Colonel Falkenstein here at once. The longer I wait, the worse it will be for him. Come on, sir. wrong at the airplane now. It's not very bad. So don't worry, pal. You're going to make it. When I get you to North Africa, I'll get you the best doctor there. Just hang on. How is he? Stay with him. I want to have another look at the airplane. Yes, sir. You are a good man, Gallagher. I watch you with the others, with your sick young captain. Mara, why did you do this? Make yourself so beautiful? You think for you? It's for me only, for myself. Big United States American Colonel, to me, is nothing. You don't like being called beautiful, do you? This life is unimportant. Who knows? Who cares? Go tell United States American girl she is beautiful. Mara, is there any way you can persuade your father to help us? Is that all you think about the war? Mikhail, Gigor, they would try to kiss me. You, you talk. You are afraid. No, I'm not afraid. Yes. Don't be angry. to the cave. Leave Gallagher for me. Go, go! No, leave him alone. Now you're ready to make a deal, is that it? Gallagher, 
What happened back there with my daughter? I saw most of it. What I say now, you say nothing. Nothing to my men, nothing to Mara. This I warn you. Understand? No, I don't understand. Will you take her away from here? No, I can't. I can't take her. Gallagher, you listen. This is the war I fight. To make her safe. And why didn't you tell me this in the beginning? I could not. Not before I know you. Not before I know that my daughter likes you. Can I trust you? For your friend, I have no doctor. But for your airplane, you want wire. I will help you get wire so you can fly again. Now you're willing never to see Mara again? From my heart, I ask you for a promise. I will help you if you take her. All right, I'll take her. Help me and I'll take her. Sir, I have only 30 men here. Supply troops, technicians. Divide them into three groups. One to guard the depot, two to patrol. You lead one patrol, I'll lead the other. But we are not properly trained. Properly trained patrol troops have been sent for. In the meantime, unless I have your full obedience, you will finish your career in prison. These Americans are trying something new. It is my responsibility to stop them. Scour every valley, every hillside. We have information about their shuttle raid which I must learn from them. I want them captured, alive, tonight! Okay, now remember, we don't want any trouble with the crowds. We need time to fix that airplane. Now move out. Gallagher, your men, they understand. Will they keep your promise? If you and I don't make it, they'll do the best they can. One thing, if you're captured, shoot me. So they think that you forced me to come. You understand? For my people. All right. I'll get the lock.
Paciencia. Captain, you see any sign of Skipper? Nothing yet. Are you almost finished, Kamansky? Yeah, I got the starters wired. I just hope I wired them right. She may fly and she may not. All night we search, we guard, we patrol, while someone walks in on your noses and steals from you. Sir, I'm sure it was nothing but a nuisance raid. The partisan stays steal, the way of life. And what did they take? I'm not sure, sir. Some spools of wire were disturbed. I'll check the inventory. The American Flying Fortress bombers use wire. Forget about the inventory. Get back out in these hills and search! <laughs> You gonna wear that dress for the rest of your life? Where you been, old man? You lose the way home? The Germans were searching for us. We had to take a detour. How's Captain Lowell? He has died. We'll be taking off now. We take care of him. Thank you, Yelich. Thanks for everything. Bye, Gallagher. Aren't you coming with me? Coming with you? You go, Mara. Your father speaks. My father speaks. I go where I want to go, when I want to go. And you can speak, speak, speak all you want. And I will never go. All right. You stay. You marry Mikhailo. And he take you out of my house forever. <sighs> Mikhailo is a pig. I would go a thousand miles before I marry him. I cook for you, I clean for you, but for him, never. You stay. You marry Mikhailo, I swear it. You swear too much. Swear for you, not for me. Right. Out of your house forever? It's fine. I go with Gallagher. Goodbye, Yelich. Boys, let's go. Mara. Sir, if you don't mind, you better say your goodbyes fast. You go. I stay. But Mara, your father wants this. I know what my father wants. Sir. Turn him over, Kamansky. I'll be right back. We have to go now. No, I'm not going. All he wants to do is stay here so he can be a martyr. He can die alone. But if I stay, he has to live. He has to fight to take care of me. 
He's a silly old fool. All right, I guess you do belong here. Stay. That's really what it's all about anyway. Oh, good. Goodbye, Yelich. Warming up, and the noise will bring the crowd, so stand by your guns. to navigator. Slim, we're passing checkpoint seven. How far behind does that put us? Navigator to pilot. The rest of the group flew over here exactly 21 hours and 25 minutes ago. Over. Raj. Sandy, what's your estimate of the fuel? That depends on the mixture and the IAS, sir. We may have enough left to make it, I'm not sure. Unless we run into fighters, that would finish us anyhow. We're almost out of ammunition. Oh, two of the guys are sick from uh, those Hugo burgers we ate, sir. Well, don't be a worrier. Relax. I'll have you in North Africa by noon. You'll be laughing it up with our buddies and a bunch of Tunisian dancing girls. That is, if nothing else goes wrong. And I don't know what could go wrong. It's a fairly simple airplane. Uh -huh. 